Yo, what's up guys? You got Pokeaim here with another competitive Pokemon Sun and Moon moveset video guide analysis on how to use a Alolan Persian. Now before we get into this guide, I want to say if you missed any of my previous uh, guides on how to use the Mons, there's a playlist down below in the description. I encourage you to check that out. Also, if you would like to see showcases of where I use these Mons, Alolan Persian showcase will go up at 4 p.m. Eastern, but I've also done other ones that are on my channel. Feel free to check them out. Anyway, Alolan Persian is a really, really interesting Pokemon. I'm going to be straight up. I know a lot of people don't like it because as a fat head, I love it. I love the way it looks. It reminds me of Garfield. I hope it likes lasagna. I like lasagna. I'm Italian. Let's do this. Anyway, so Alolan Persian is a dark type. That's the main difference between regular Persian and the fact that it does have fur coat. Outside of that, the only other difference is regular Persian has a higher base attack stat and a lower base special attack stat. As you see the difference right here, regular Persian has 70 base attack, 65 base special attack, whereas Alolan Persian has 60 base attack and 75 base special attack. So it kind of flipped, uh, even though it got even more... Um, they, they definitely they traded 15 points, but outside of that, that's the main difference. Um, obviously, a lowland Persian does not have limber or unnerve, whereas a lowland Persian has rattled and fur coat. But fur coat is actually really cool, and uh, considering it is a dark type, it has a lot of uh, nice little moves that it can go for. So first off, we have the parting shot set, which I think is its best set, and probably it's going to be its most common set. Big shout out to Valiant Scizor, who. Uh, I noticed this calc from him and I decided to play around with it myself. Uh, the main idea of this set is to uh, parting shot around, which is a move that Alolan Persian does get, which lowers your attack and special attack. And it's kind of like Volt Switch, which gives you the switch initiative. You can switch out while doing it while lowering your opponent's stats. So uh, the other things that Alolan Persian does have going for it, it has base 115 speed. It's extremely fast and having that plus foul play is incredible on this Pokemon. Um, foul plays plus fur coat allows it to take a ton of um, physical hits and just deal out damage on those physical mods with foul play. So the spread is max speed, 228 HP, 28 defense, and what this allows you to do is actually take, I'll show you the calc right here, um, it allows you to take Jolly Charizard X's plus one Flare Blitz. Plus one Flare Blitz does 84 to 99% to this set. And your foul play does 71 to 84%. So after recoil, you 100% take it on. And that's just with 28 defense, 228 HP. And with Furco obviously doubling its defenses. So the idea of the set is to want to be a stall breaker, prevent your opponent from setting up, prevent Scarberry from roosting, spiking up. Foul play to damage all those physical attackers, which you can take hits from. Another example I'm gonna show you right here is Mega Metagross. Jolly Mega Metagross's Meteor Mash does 46 to 54% and bullet punch does 20 to 24% and your foul play does 78 to 96% guys so you to a KO it before it could to a KO you even hammer arm needs to have an absolute max roll on hammer arm in order to actually to a KO you that's just to show you how bulky this mon is just with fur coat so parting shot is the main idea of this set. You send out Persian, and a lot of times you're going to be scouting with it, going for parting shot, and trying to pair it with Pokemon that might want to set up. You could set it up, uh, you could pair it with Dragon Dance Gyarados, uh, you can pair it with pretty much any setup sweeper, or anything that appreciates setup, as parting shot, obviously, um, lowering your opponent's stats makes it easier to set up. And then the Darkium Z is actually the item, because if you use the uh, Z parting shot, uh, one, it's better than Memento, because it doesn't make you faint, when you use it, or it's better than mental in the case that it doesn't make you faint, but when you use Z parting shot, you parting shot so you lower their stats and whatever comes in gets healed up to full HP. So not only are you parting shot allowing something to come in, but let's say you played a Tapu Koko recklessly or you have a very low 2 HP Tapu Koko, um, you can parting shot with your Z move into it and that Tapu Koko, not only will your opponent's stats be lowered, but that Tapu Koko will come in and be healed to full HP. So the idea of this set is support the team, um, lower your opponent's stats, check physical attackers with foul play, and then the last move can either be Toxic or Thunderbolt. Now Toxic allows you to wear down, uh, let's say fairies that foul play doesn't hit. I'm talking about Tapu Fini if there is no um, Misty Terrain, obviously, because Tapu Fini cannot be poisoned uh, if there's Misty Terrain up. Um, but Thunderbolt can also be ran, and that allows you to damage Skarmory as well as Celesteela, which don't really do too much to you because of Taunt, but Thunderbolt does allow you to hit them for decent damage, considering it does have base 75 special attack. Uh, you are timid nature on this, whether you go Foul Play and Thunderbolt or just Toxic, uh, because you want to minimize your attack stat, that way if you get confused, you do less to yourself in confusion, and Foul Play isn't affected by your attack stat, but it's only affected by your opponent's attack stat. Um, 
But yeah, Thunderbolt can be ran as well as Toxic. Toxic wears down Pokemon. Thunderbolt allows you to hit Celesteela as well as Skarmory on top of that with Foul Play, Taunt. You shut them down with that, preventing them from Leech Seeding and whatnot. So the next set we have is the Annoying Choice Scarf set, which runs the exact same spread because, again, it allows it to take hits from Charizard. You actually uh, outspeed plus one Charizard anyway with a Choice Scarf and can smack with a Foul Play. Um, but the idea of this set is to take advantage of the fact that Alolan Persian does have Switcheroo. And um, what that does is you can cripple something, let's say a bulky mon like Toxapex or a Skarmory or a Celesteela. These are all Pokemon that like the ability to switch up moves, the ability to not be locked in. Typically, you don't see choice items on these Pokemon. You see Leftovers, Black Sludge, respectively. So the idea of this set is, and it's called the Annoying Scar set, because uh, most of the time with it, you're going to be parting shotting around, just trying to get in Pokemon for free and lowering your opponent's stats. That way, the rest of your team can come in. But Switcheroo is very nice because if you Switcheroo a Pokemon like Celesteela, Stila, like Skarmory, um, you get their leftovers and they're now choice locked. So if Skarmory went for Roost, it's locked in Roost. If Celesteela went for Protect, um, it's locked into uh, Protect, you know, Fail and whatnot. And then you still have the option of taunting and foul playing while still parting shotting around and supporting your team. So again, Persian, I think its best way of being used is as a support Pokemon. It has an incredible speed. It has that fur coat which doubles its defense. So it tanks hits. Uh, you could probably run some type of fully physically defensive Persian and not die. I'm not going to lie. It probably won't die to any physical attack. Um, even like an adaptability boost to close combat. I don't think that will knock it out. Because I know Furfro eats, eats that for breakfast from Lucario. Not for breakfast, but it does eat it. But... Uh, Alolan Persian, I think the main thing that it does have going for it, on top of having Parting Shot, which is so good for scouting and so good for letting your opponent, or letting you get in a Pokemon and setting up with it, uh, like, again, Mega Scizor, Mega Gyarados, Mega Charizard X, any set of Sweeper, Mega Pinsir, doesn't have to be a Mega, for example, even your Superior if you want to bring that thing in and just start uh, Leaf Storming away, but um, I think the speed is very, very crucial because that speed tier allows it to be faster than Latios, um, allows it to be faster than um, Thunderous. And Thunderous is also a pretty cool one because Dark Types can't be hit by priority um, by priority attacks. So Thunderous actually cannot Thunder Wave you with Prankster attacks. They can't be hit by Prankster attacks, not priority attacks, excuse me. Dark Types cannot be hit by Prankster attacks. So you could actually taunt Thunderous and then go out to your setup sweeper after and set up and not fear being Thunder Wave. So it's just things like that. But that speed tier allows you to outspeed Garchomp, uh, Landorus, Latios, Latios, just to name a few Pokemon, Caldeo, Terrakion. Uh, and you can just parting shot away. Obviously, if you're the Scarf, scout for the Scarf. But again, the idea of this Pokemon, uh, especially the Scarf set and the parting shot set. Again, parting shot can run Thunderbolt or Toxic. Uh, scarf, this is the main set on it. But the idea of this Pokemon is to get in and then get on out of there with parting shot. Um, and parting shot cannot be, you know, it's not going to be blocked. It's not like... Um, it's not like you can go out to a ground type and stop Volt Switch with parting shot. No. So... Uh, and it gives you the switch advantage as well if your opponent wants to switch. Now, the next set that we have is the Nasty Plot set. Uh, Persian does have access to Technician, and it does have a few moves that are boosted by that. For example, Snarl is actually boosted by Technician to be a little bit stronger than Dark Pulse, uh, just a little bit stronger. And that 100% lowers your opponent's stat, uh, special attack stat by one. So the idea of Nasty Plot, Thunderbolt, Snarl, uh, Electric, and Dark is pretty solid coverage. You pretty much miss out on Pokemon like Tapu Bulu, um, you don't do too much damage to Tyranitar. The last move can actually be Hidden Power Poison if you do worry about Tapu Bulu um, and Fairy types in general. Hidden Power Poison can be ran. Uh, you can actually make this max. Hidden Power Poison can be ran on the last set, but I like Hidden Power Fighting specifically for this reason. Max HP Tyranitar in the sand plus two Life Orb Technician boosted dies to HP Fighting. And uh, I'll show you Heat Ran as well. Let's show you OU Defensive. That's what OU Offensive, excuse me. Um, I should have had this calc loaded, so I do apologize about that. I thought I had it loaded on the side, but it's it's gone, unfortunately. Uh, this is Spadef, and then Snarl obviously does a little bit uh, less. But it does lower your opponent's special attack. Basically, a Spadef Tran can't come in on Snarl plus HP fighting. Lowering their special attack is also very nice. Uh, but the idea of this set is to use Persian as more of a sweeper than as a support mod. I think it does have its niche in like lower tiers, but I think if you want to use Persian in the higher tiers, Go with the Dark EMZ, go with the Scarf set. That's definitely, I think that's definitely the best way to use Persian. Now, Persian does have other options. Uh, it does learn Fake Out. It does have U-Turn. Uh, fake Out is okay. Um, it does, you know, break Sashes, break Sturdy, stops your opponent from moving, yeah. But 
Uh, if I was to use that, I think Taunt, Foul Play, and Parting Shot, 100% on support sets are needed, so I would put it over Toxic, and then after that, I wouldn't have like Toxic or Thunderbolt, but that can be run. Hypnosis can be ran if you want to deal with that 60% accuracy, but uh, maybe you want to put your opponent to sleep. Roar can also be ran on a more defensive set to phase out uh, setup sweepers since obviously with your fur coat you will you will be taking on physical attackers such as uh, Mega Gyarados um, just to you know give you a Pokemon as an example but uh, typically you know foul play is better in most cases even if they do resist and then U-turn can also be ran which does give you switch advantage however why use U-turn when even though it does do damage yes why use U-turn when you can use parting shot and get in something and be more of a team player that's just my uh, take on uh, Persian, but in any case guys, thank you everybody for watching. I hope you guys all enjoyed. Hope you learned something Maybe feel free to leave a like subscribe if you did if you did enjoy, you know Obviously leaving a like helps out my channel follow me on twitch and twitter twitch to know when I am you know streaming I do stream Sun and Moon a lot and uh, Twitter is great to keep up to date with me. So thank you everybody for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye friends